a lot of men don't realize that they damage the dating pool of qualified women by doing this. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode, man. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, it's not by coincidence that in this daytime and hour that we're hearing women say delusional stuff. And, you know, men are going to be in three categories. You're going to have the sexually immoral man who ain't looking for nothing at all you know, is just uh, wanting to, to clap cheeks. And then you got the man who genuinely wants a wife, but he doesn't mind being sexually immoral on the road to it. And then you have the rare population of men that genuinely want to find their wife in a biblical pursuit, meaning they're abstaining from having all this sex, casual sex and all of that. They're not Netflixing and chilling or any of that, but they're truly trying to find their wife. The dating market is jacked up because you have men out there that are willing to pay for play. And what this does is you got men out there that, that uh, pretty much are sugar daddies to sugar babies and they trick off on women for the attention of the women and sometimes sex. And what that does is you got women out there thinking that that's the way that you find a good man. That's how, when you hear these women saying, man, you know, I'm not going on no date unless a man spends $300 and I'm not going to no chain restaurant. General, generally what's happened is a man has tricked off on her and this has become her ideology. This has become her mindset. And men don't realize in doing that, yeah, you might be getting the lust of your flesh met, but once you're done using and abusing that woman in your sexually immoral acts and you're tricking off on her, this woman is out here inflated, thinking she's wife material while having to, to bring uh, no kind of wifely characteristics or value you know, into the relationship. And that's what's happened to a lot of women. When you, This is the reason we got music out on the radio from female artists talking about hit me on this cash up. Men have inflated their egos. And these men that have inflated their egos, these aren't men that are building families. These are worthless men. You got these women thinking a man is supposed to spend a bag on them on the first date while they're dating and the woman don't have to be committed or nothing. I'm telling you this stuff, I can't make this up. So in the midst of your doggone tricking off, in the midst of your tricking off as a man, I want you to realize that one day when you get ready to settle down and say, you know what, I wanna find a wife, don't be surprised if the environment that you've helped shape is jacked up. It's jacked up. You're like, man, why are these women so delusional? Think what you were doing back in your day, tricking off. You know, you got these women think that dating is now supposed to be about getting flown out going overseas and all of that. All of this superficial stuff. And these women are putting themselves in high risk situations and ain't no marriage coming out of. Men don't realize that by you tricking off on these women for whatever your intent or reason is, you are validating these women's, you know, ego and requirement for an absurd amount of attention. You gotta think, the sexually immoral man will screw up the population of, of women that could make wives, and you gotta think, you know, he's gonna imprint her wound with his sexually immoral acts, and this woman may not never rebound, may, not ne may never get her mindset in the right frame of mind in order to be a wife in order to be a pygmy. Men, remember that when you're out there 
tricking off living your best life that one day, man, you're gonna have to deal with this environment. One day when you plan on having kids and a family, you're gonna have to deal with this environment that you've helped shape. Close to the Yacht Ministries kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.